Hello all of my lovely artists! This is your friendly neighborhood art teacher Miss Asbury and today we are going to be reviewing the element of art called value. Value focuses a lot on light. So if something is very cast in shadow and it's got a lot of darker colors in it, it is dark in value. And if something has more light shining on it, and if it's a lighter, more pastel color, it is seen as a lighter value. And how we're going to demonstrate that today is we are going to be drawing candy canes for the Christmas season because as I am recording this, it's December 1st, which means it is acceptable to start Christmas. So I don't wanna hear any fussing about me being too early, even though I started Christmas before Thanksgiving. No judge. So what you're going to do is you're going to need a pencil and some colors for coloring. I'm doing colored pencils, but you could do crayons, probably not markers, but something that you can make darker by pressing harder onto it. But we're going to start by drawing some candy paint. So I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to get started. I'm sure most of us know how to draw candy canes. It's just like an upside down capital J with a smaller capital J and then connect. My thing is try not to make these too thin. Like I would even say that this part right here is a little too thin. So I'm gonna make another one. Make it a little bit thicker. Oh yeah, that one's way better. And I'll just stick with two I think because I'm going to show you how to do one with color and one with black and white. So let's go ahead and add our stripes. The best thing you could do, instead of just doing straight across lines, make them slightly curved. Not a lot, but if you give them like a slight smile to them like this, they're going to look more interesting once we get the color or the shading onto them. Value and shading are two words that go hand in hand because we use value in art to make shadows. We like to show where the light is on whatever we're drawing. So for our candy canes, we're gonna show the light hitting, like our light source is right here. So we're gonna have a highlight. Highlights, remember, if you see something shiny, especially if it's made out of metal, it's got kind of like a white speck on it, right? So that's what we're gonna do here. So I'm going to start by doing a red and green candy cane. And the way to do this is so easy. If you did the optical illusion project with me, it's just like our optical illusion project. We're going to start at one end of one of our stripes. I'll start right here at the bottom. And you start by pressing down really hard as you work your way towards the middle. So. As you can see, I press down really hard here, but as I start to go towards this middle section, I'm going to lighten up how hard I work with my pencil. Now this doesn't look so good, so you might have to go back in the middle, press just a little bit harder to give it that good gradient. But once you get to the middle, you should barely be touching your pencil to the paper. The other side, we start the same thing. Start by pressing down really hard and then lighten up the pressure as you go towards the middle. So there's the first red. Let's do it one more time. Go to the left side of my cane. Start really dark. Lighten up as you go towards the middle until it's white. Other side, start dark. Light, 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 stop. So you could almost have this middle section not even colored in. It could be completely white and just look like a shine, a highlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of mine for the red, light, dark, light, stop. Then on this one, my end would be starting at the bottom. Lighten it up. And then my edge would actually be the top dark, light, and again, it might take some practice. You might need to rotate your paper like I am, and you'll get there. It's a lot of playing, guys. So much about art is just playing until you get it right. You might not get it right on the first shot, and that's okay. We all make mistakes as artists. I make mistakes all the time. So don't worry if it's not 
exactly how you want it at first. So there's the red, but I don't really want to leave this white because that's a little boring, so I'm going to do green. So it's the exact same thing with my green. I'm going to start dark, and I'm going to lighten it up towards the middle. Stop. Go dark, light, dark, light, dark, light. Curve my line a bit. Dark, light. So the shiny part, the light value, should be hitting around the same spot in each section. So that way the highlight looks like it's following a line right down the middle. So you should try to target that light to hit the middle every single time. And then last one. Perfect. That already is looking fantastic. I love it. These little parts where it connects, you could probably go back in and darken them too. Just like that to cover up your pencil. So that's how you do your candy cane in color. Let me zoom in a bit so you can really see. You can already see how it looks like the shadow of our object is along the edges and the light is hitting it making a shine mark right here. So this is what makes a candy cane look more 3D instead of 2D. Because two-dimensional objects like drawings usually look very flat, while 3D objects have some mass to it. So that means that they take up space. So that means that light actually hits it and it casts shadows. So if you add a shadow to something, it will look more three-dimensional, more 3D. Now, if you don't have colors or you don't want to use colors, if you're more of a black and white person, you can do the exact same thing with the pencil that we did for the color one. The only difference is how to make these stripes look different. So if I want these sections to be darker, then I'm going to start off super dark and press down really hard with my pencil at first. And I'm going to keep it pretty dark until I get to my middle. And then I'll stop. Same thing on the other side. Just like this. And that's pretty much the exact same thing. But if you want the section next to it to look white, to look lighter, that means you need to do a different value to start with at the edge. So for this edge next to my darker value, I'm gonna go ahead and start pretty light and just try to get it even lighter. So even at the edge, I'm barely touching it, but I'm still getting lighter as I go towards the middle. That way, it looks like this section is lighter than this section. It still looks like two separate colors, even though we're just lightening the value. So let's go back to our dark value, go to the edge, press really hard, go towards the middle, stop. Let me darken it up just a bit. I'm gonna play with it. Then on this side, start dark. Lighten it up, just like that. This section, our edge starts light, but we go even lighter, start light, get even lighter. Then our dark section again, start really dark, press really hard. So when it comes to drawing, we change our value just with the pressure we use when we color with our pencil. Painting, on the other hand, oops, that's supposed to be on my light section, I messed up. Oh well. When we do painting, we get lighter values by adding white paint if we were using acrylics. And if we were using watercolor, we would lighten the value by adding more water. So for drawing, it's the pressure that we use. For painting with acrylics, it's with adding white paint to lighten it up. And with watercolor, it's adding more water to dilute it. Which if you've been in class with me, you know that we've practiced quite a bit with all three. All right, so I'm almost done with this candy cane here. 
I'll just go ahead and darken up my edges here. There are some areas where I want to go back in and touch it up, and that's fine. Artists do that all the time. If I didn't get it quite the way I wanted at first, I can always go back. That's something I want you to remember. And I'm going to make these lines just a little bit more definite. I don't know if you guys can hear my cat. He wants a little bit of attention. There. All right. So there we have it. Oh, I was still zoomed in. I hope you guys were able to see all that. But here is our colored candy cane and our black and white candy cane. You can see how we've made both of them look a little bit more three-dimensional just by using value. So that shows how easy it is to make something look more 3D without that much effort. So I would love to see you guys snap a picture of these and submit them on the Dropbox on Schoology. Remember the Dropbox is right below this video in our weekly folder. You do not have to do these the day it's posted. You have all week to do them. And just do your best. And I absolutely cannot wait to see these guys. I love seeing your work. It just makes my heart so happy. But for now, I'm signing off. Bye, guys. Miss you. Love you. Bye.